We'll have uh, Hector uh, from BBVA. Actually, there's a question from uh, M. Yuan in the chat, like what are some recent successful digital transformation examples in financial services? I think um, this is one. <laughs> this is why we invite them to talk after Nigel. So let's let's have uh, Hector Harias uh, Fraga um, uh, maybe answer that question. Hello, Hector. How are you? Hello. Uh, hello, many. Uh, uh, thank you so much for, for having me here. And it's, it's going to be a, a, a big a pleasure for me and BBA to have this uh, spot with you to share this uh, our, our point of view and experience with you guys. Pleasure is totally shared here. Uh, I'll invite, uh, I invite you to share your screen. And so, so you can begin yep. to. Yep, sure. Yeah, we yeah we see the presentation. Can you go live with a full screen? Yeah, sure. Presentation mode. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. The slides are perfect. We hear you well. I disconnect and let you the stage for for thirty minutes. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, May. So this is uh, again is a, a pleasure for us to to share uh, our learning in 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 the open banking platform. The experience we have this along these these years, what do we are working on this on these um, new technologies and and way of relationship with partners. So we believe that there are three main levers for a bank to. Uh, to push the open banking forward. The first one is the, you know, the, the regulatory one that is very well known. And we have the PSE2, FinTech Law, and some other initiatives in many other countries, Australia, Hong Kong, Japan, and some others. And Brazil is to come, and probably the US will, will do something soon, uh, more than the CFPB data sharing um, principles. So this is one of the levers, one of the, um, of the open banking strategy from the buying point of view. And we have the technology evolution that um, uh, the bank, uh, uh, a bank can leverage the advanced technology. And, and this is one of the reasons for a bank to uh, initiate this open banking journey. And the third one is the transformation of the customer behavior. The customers are enjoying and living uh, in a more open uh, uh, context. They, they, they don't expect to go to a branch or even to go to a digital channel of a bank uh, to do banking. They expect to do banking uh, at any moment, at any place. So this is the three lever. These are the three levers that uh, uh, that define the position uh, for a bank from a point of view. And depending on the strategy, you can pick uh, one of them or a combination of them. And, and 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 push your strategy forward on this side. So you can go from the from being just compliant. Or let's let's do what PSD two and others expect uh, on and ask banks to do. Or, or you can develop a new uh, opportunity, a new business uh, uh, to to bring better service uh, uh, for new and existing customers. So again. So regulation was and so and still is the spark that ignited the open banking in Europe and other geographies. But as as I said, they are still much too open yet, and many opportunities for uh, for banks. The from the basic regulatory approach that yet let's just do what we have to do, and um, <clears throat> to a partnership approach that develop more APIs and being open for third parties to again partner with with them and and find new joint opportunities for for the two of us for the partner for 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 the bank and this is this is our approach as BBA of course we we of course uh, uh, follow uh, every regulatory uh, requirement we have of course the PSD2 APIs up and running and 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 and, and so on but we have the approach and if 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 so the to follow the customer behavior you know to follow what they expect us to do for them to be where the customers and the clients are instead of making them to come to our place to to so so it's like is 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 the approach of partnership we have with with in open banking within this approach we define we we several business models or relationship models we have the 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 what we call the distribution channel the for b2b2b or b2b2b2c um, 
sorry, B2B2C relationships. And that is the, you know, the, 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 the pure partnership model that you have a third party, you partner with this company, this entity, and you have joint customers, joint class clients, and you, um, and, and you partner, uh, find a way to be uh, the relationship for, um, interesting for the for the two of for the two of us. So, and the main point again is to be where our customers want us to be. If our customer is is in is in, uh, in 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 Google, in Facebook, whatever we we want to be there. We want to serve there in this in this uh, in this channel. And, and of course, we want to, and we are offering our products and services through third parties too. This is the pure partnership model. We also have the um, uh, APIs as a direct channel. That is a evolution of the regular or more traditional channels, uh, uh, the host to host channel, or typical or traditional channels that we uh, had with our clients. So we renew, we update the technology uh using apis that is very very uh, interesting for for our, for our clients our, ourselves because it's is something more easy to to integrate the the, the apis and we also have a, a banking as a service so pure banking as a service business model that i believe is something similar that what nigel was sharing with us uh, in the previous presentation that we have this uh, kind of wide level banking. We have the, the checking accounts, the debit cards, uh, KYC, uh, money movement, including ACH and so on. And we have these APIs uh, and all the processes and core banking uh, structure and compliance capabilities ready for third parties to uh, use these services and even and launching their own business uh, uh, with their own brand using the 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 bbba apis this is the third uh, uh, relationship model and the fourth one is is instead of bbba sharing or opening uh, uh, its platform to to third parties to also use the third parties products and services in our own ecosystem. So using and developing and expanding uh, what we, um, uh, the, the, uh, the ecosystem, the relations we have with our customers in within our own channels, uh, uh, thanks to and leveraging third parties products and services. So what we are pushing with these relationship models as a bank is of course, finding out new innovative business models. We, uh, uh, it's a, a business model is 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 also so it's innovation and is and it sounds redundant, but it's business model too because it's something that we uh, we clearly see that is the the new banking is going towards that direction to to th third parties and being where the clients are. And uh, partnership at the scale, we we have and we will speak. I will speak uh, more later about the big partners that we already have, and and we also have a different scale of partnership, different size of partnership. But we we uh, is a way that we find uh, um, to scale uh, uh, the relevance and uh, of. Uh, of the banking products and services uh, to democratize them using third parties. And of course, uh, the better customer experience that led uh, our customers to enjoy the great uh, user experience that uh, they can enjoy with third parties. And so this is, and speaking about the, the um, so in a high level perspective, the revenue streams and how this is a business. And remember that we, uh, defined uh, that the, our open banking position is, of course, being 100% compliant with regulations, but in going beyond of that, be going uh, um, uh, and partnered with third parties uh, with more APIs and more products and services uh, than the law or the regulation requires. So the, we have we have business models, as we as I said, and from the high level perspective, these are 
where the revenue streams are coming uh, right now. Of course, the branding is an important thing. Uh, we are, so I think that uh, the, I believe that the, the market recognized MBA as a probably a leader or one of the leaders uh, in open banking as a bank uh, globally. Uh, we are onboarding new customers and clients and uh, through open banking, through third parties, thanks to third, our partnership with, with others. And we, of course, are uh, cross-selling to from the business point of view. And and we also have some uh, revenues coming pro from platform fees. It depends on the relationship model. Sometimes, uh, so it depends uh, on how we define the relationship. In some situations, we have these fees that for third parties using the the platform, where the banking services and products that they are using are are mainly. Um, using uh, a lot of uh, some of the bank capacity and, and there are some fees uh, uh, for it, not not per transaction basis. And last one is transactions, of course, is you have a, a, a number of ACHs or money movement or whatever, there's a, a revenue coming from it, depending on the, again, relationship model. If you, so most cases is a combination of them. Most cases is, is like that. So it's a combination and even if so a typical uh, invoice to uh, one of our partners sometimes is sometimes is um, uh, is positive or negative. Sometimes uh, the 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 invoice ends up making us paying the the partner, and sometimes the partner to us. And sometimes it depends on the month, depending on the services and 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 the partners. How is the how was defined and, and the agreement? And, yep and. So if if we think about the journey of BBVA, what do we pass through to get to this to reach this point? So I remember in 2013 and 14 we started with the with the early stage of the the, the API development in the bank. So we of course had the R and D uh, works uh, uh, investigating and even developing even developing our own uh, API gateway to understand everything and and to get. Um, deeper in the no understanding and knowledge of the API banking, and and we um, these early years we we uh, even uh, open some uh, uh, data to, um, sorry uh, data tons and and to to uh, uh, allow developers to use this API uh, platform and and let us know how to improve it and and setting up collaboration. To improve and to grow this 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 platform, until we in 2014, uh, BBS acquired Simple. Simple, you may know. Some of you will may know that is probably is one of the very first, uh, maybe the first, the second, uh, neo bank globally in the US, uh, in in Portland, Oregon. So we and this also helped us a lot in terms of the the open banking strategy and open banking capabilities because once BBA acquired simple simple remember it's a neo bank so it's a technology company it's not a charter bank in the us there is no psd2 or something similar especially in 2014 so and and and, and the bank decided okay so let's 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 serve simple and let's develop a platform to allow simple to leverage BBA technology and compliance capabilities and and this help us a lot to 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 help sim to to help our open banking strategy because as we were building the the platform and the capabilities we were learning a lot and we were exporting this understanding and knowledge to other countries um, in the bank that the bank is is present so then in 2015 and 2000 and and 2017, we opened uh, the API market. That the API market, what is, what the market sees, you know, is a website, yeah, but the, it's the tip of the iceberg. When we opened these, uh, these developer centers, it was after building the platform in Spain and Mexico. And, and the, what platform means for us is not just the API layer, is the, to transform the process within the bank, the core banking system, 
to allow third, third parties that is very different once you when you uh, develop apis to serve our own channels is very different that, than developing for third parties because the way you control the way you um, monitor everything is very different and the impact of uh, error in a in an api call is very different so this is the again the tip of the iceberg that we uh, we launched these years uh, uh, in in Spain and Mexico, uh, opening uh, several APIs. Also, you know, I, I I wanted to say and, and I think that enforce um, the the bank strategy and the position about. So we are opening the customer data, uh, not uh, not because of the regulation, but because we want to. Is is we have these APIs, the three leg APIs, uh, ready up up and running uh, for some years ago. So I think it's 2015 or 14, I remember that we opened these APIs to allow developers to, to, to get access to, to uh, our customers' data, of course, with the, with the customer's consent. In the US, um, in 2018, we opened the um, BBVA open platform. That is, it's a, a is the, the, the US specific platform that we uh, created uh, to serve in a wide level uh, model uh, third parties and several neobanks and several fintechs and, 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 and a few big companies are using these APIs. And, and it's like uh, the, 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 the business model is or the relationship model is the third party is uh, is virtually a bank so they don't have so they, they, they don't have a, a license of a bank they are a technology company they are doing the the marketing they are doing uh, 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 holding the operations uh, from the customer the customer experience point of view but the core banking system is served by BBVA so and the core banking system is not just a technology again is what is even I, not more important, but the same important is the, the control aspects, the, the compliance and things, because all the, when you have this relationship with a third party, if you are a bank, a licensed bank, what is one of the things that is, that are more important is to, to be compliant. So make sure that you are doing what the regulation asks you to do. And in many situations, you need to ask the third party to do some things because usually in a wide level banking, the third parties usually are uh, not uh, banking experts. So they they can make mistakes and, and in terms of related to the banking uh, regulation and, and, and our, our partnership uh, includes that part to help them and support them to, to do the things that as the regulation asks them to do. So in the US, we have this. Uh, we have this. Uh, this. This relationship model. If you want to take a look, is the bbaopenplatform.com in the U.S. and in in Spain and Mexico is bbaapimarket.com. So this, and you can see the the specific APIs that we have in in place and some use cases that you can take a look uh, of of how we are doing with our partners, even with the names of uh, some of the partners we have. One example is Uber. Um, uh, last year, we initiated in Mexico a partnership with Uber. And what we do with our APIs uh, in a platform is serve uh, Uber and our joint customers uh, through the Uber, uh, Uber uh, customer experience. So if you go to the app, uh, Uber's app, you can do uh, the drivers can do the onboarding, uh, open an account, uh, issue a, a car. Uh, you can see the, uh, the the car in the picture, and even uh, uh, and even see the balance and transaction history. This is this is a uh, uh, one example of the partnership we have. Uber is of course a big company, but we have a different size of uh, partners leveraging the 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 platform. So this is. Uh, some screenshots of the of the user experience that the the driver has with with uber is 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 very easy 
is 100% uh, digital. Uh, and again, what the client, what the what the client sees uh, in the in the app is is the Uber customer experience. It's not BBVAs, and this is one important thing that um, the APIs gives to us. This year, a few months ago, it was announced a, a partnership between BBVA and Google in the US. And what uh, we have with Google, and is not, so it was announced, but it's not open yet, it will be in some months, uh, is that uh, the Google users will be able to open a BBA account and issue a debit card and use the debit card uh, in Google Pay. Um, uh, for now in the US, uh, and this is a, 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 another example of a big partnership that we have uh, uh, on top of the, the BBA platform. So this is something, and, and, and I'm, I want to remark this, uh, that this, you know, this is uh, leveraging not just the technology, but also the control and compliance aspect and the operational. And this is, these are the Typical and as we say internally, the three waves of challenges in in open banking. You initiate with a project that uh, a big project that that aims to change the technology, the, the the API layer and the 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 core banking processes and technologies to make it faster and to make it scalable. Then you get the the compliance challenges because you are opening the you are opening the the banking services at, at but you need you are you, you have the obligation the responsibility to take care uh, uh, of the uh, of the license and banking regulation of course so you need to develop these compliance capabilities to partner with third parties that are not banks and and they are going to hold the customer experience 100% or at least a, a percentage of that and the last challenge is the operational part that once you have a, <clears throat> a big partner and uh, even small partners that when we have a small partners we need to define uh, depending on the specifics of the partnership that uh, we have difference in, in 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 the operations and we need to to handle that in, in when we have a, a big partner like like these ones uh, uber and google for for for, for instance the the operational channels are are big because the the we need to be ready to scale uh, quickly as is required if depending on how google or how uber push uh, the service we can we receive a lot of um, uh, transactions or even new uh, customers through these partnerships so we have as a as so BBA has a, a long experience investing and learning from financial innovators. And I think, and we think that this helped us to understand many things on open banking. We connect this uh, learning with, uh, from these financial innovators, what ha we, we, we think that that helped us a lot in our digital transformation and open banking. And, the example of simple was is one of them is 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 clear how okay we we have a a company we have a connect and we need to serve this company with apis simple and we and 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 we learn a, a lot about this process so this is the you know um you you find here some of the examples we we have and some of them are also working in <clears throat> different angles of open banking solaris bank open bank and and some others. <clears throat> and we had this, we, we have passed through all these um, stages and we have these uh, partnerships in, in place. And, but uh, we, uh, we of course uh, want to improve and, and update our platform. So we are uh, launching, uh, it's going to be uh, in several phases launching our platform version 2 and you see this so what what the tip of the iceberg is the the, the new website that is that now you see that there are the us 2 in this website but this is what what this 
external and internally is the platform and connected with the core banking systems of different countries and being open for uh, domestic and international partnerships. So this is um, this second version is is um, leveraging everything that all that we have learned and the new capabilities and in technology, in compliance and operations and 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 we are uh, of course we already were but we are very open for a uh, new partnership because we we have this capacity already so some takeaways so some learnings that uh, we have from this uh, from our experience so it's so important and i think that is connected what with what nigel mentioned in the previous presentation to have this collaborative mindset so we acknowledge we know that uh, we need to partner so we need uh, we if we want to be where our clients or customers are we need to partner it's something that and partnership is something that that for a bank uh, that is more than 150 years uh, old and many banks in the world are uh you know are, are 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 not fintechs startups are banks that are with uh, with us for many years so this this is a change it's something that the banks are used normally uh, to develop and and control everything uh, until the the customer or the client so and now you can do that if you want to be where your customer is you can do that you need to partner with the parties you need to so even individuals or companies with ERPs, or you, you need to partner with third parties to serve uh, uh, to serve uh, the, your clients and customers. So it is important. It's a, 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 this change in the mindset inside the bank is a deep cultural change, and also I think that uh, I'm sorry about that because I'm saying something similar to what Nigel said. It's not. It's a coincidence. No, but it's, it's important a deep cultural change. So it's the agile methodology agile processes to develop faster to work faster and be more agile is so important to develop things faster and and operate things faster if you have several partners and you have and you want to to serve well your customers and your partners you need to develop some capabilities and and that are not usual are not typical in in a bank in a multi-channel bank even being digital you need to even go further in the in this cultural change also uh, it's important to keep in mind what you know the you know that if you are a bank and you have this uh, a strategy and approach in open banking it's uh, important to leverage both things so it's like you have this you are developing this platform but what what our partners needs from us and the customers are banking products and services and is and we are good on it so don't we need to leverage this the platform and the banking service we have this um, big experience in compliance and regulation regulatory relationship that is so important in banking services so when a when a technology company is approaching this world our experience is that after two or three years or if it's a startup at stage you know and uh, series b or c they realize that the banking services and products has a lot have a lot of things to a lot of details that are requ uh, regulatory requirements and and need a lot of expertise so need to, so we need to leverage that and don't forget that is an important asset also that of course, avoid uh, to commoditize uh, banking services. It's something that, from the business standpoint, so if, we, if it's not just open API and serve APIs and that's it, you need to serve well uh, the partners and the clients. You need to develop a value proposition uh, different. This uh, previously and today already yet in the in branches in digital channels in our own digital channels we can you know the value proposition a part of it is the the customer experience but when you are serving through the parties you need to develop 
uh, a different or additional uh, value proposition. You can you need you 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 can take all this data and develop this intelligence to serve better the the, the customers, and you can give you know, a special SLA and these kind of things. You is uh, to define your value proposition as as a as open banking and. Last but not least is the obsession to solve client pains because the reason we, uh, so I'm sure all the banks and, and, and all the companies that are open APIs, the, the, the reason we are doing that is to serve uh, the, the clients and it, it, it means to, to solve uh, the pains they, might have, they may have. So this is what uh, the last one is, is like uh, uh, this obsession is something that uh, might uh, sound obvious, but it's something that keep us, you know, uh, focus on the reason we are doing that. It's not about, it's not for technology, it's not for, it's, it's to serve our clients. And this is, and this is a, this is a presentation. Um, and I'd be very happy, very glad to, to you know, to go to Q and A, uh, Yeah, hello, Hector. So we have a few questions uh, coming. Can you can you stop sharing your screen so we can see us better during the discussion? Yeah, sure. So we have a we have a first question. We'll try to uh, uh, to answer all, all what we can. Uh, so can a bank really deliver all the new digital business models you mentioned from within its core business operations? You know, given culture, skills, metrics, legacy systems, you know, you know it, right? And the second question is like, would it be better to set up a separate business to drive some of these new business models like you've done in the US, you know, yep. with that? Yep, so um, the bank, so they are, I'm sure there are different approaches, can be different, but but the the the, the approach that we, we have is to, to do all these uh, services, uh, at least the core services, the banking services by yourselves. I mean that we, we our own operations uh, are serving, are, 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 are executing all these things. Of course, we have some partners with us, working with us in a specific part so that they are, we are not, of course, the best uh, in everything. You, you, we need to partner with the best to, to, to complement our products and serve better our joint uh, uh, clients and customers so but essentially i would say you know roughly uh, 90 percent is is on us and 10 percent is with partners and the second question is as you mentioned in the us um, we have the 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 open dba open platform that is a a, a, a new business is and it's a different entity but is you know is is the is born and raised uh, 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 besides the bank and and this is and and this and this is very important because the focus on, in bank as a service, um, uh, most of the users, the client, the partners using this service are fintechs, and 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 the bank decided to to help to create this entity with uh, this uh, fintech mentality. Uh, this uh, and and even. You know, even if, if you see the team, the you know probably many of of them are, you know, coming from or some of them are coming from fintech, some others coming from the digital areas of the bank, and so it's it's it, the the approach helps us a lot to to get into the, the the fintech community and to get this understanding, and is is something that um, that uh, uh, um, you know is it was uh, instrumental to to and it still is instrumental to to raise this this business and and this this business model bank as a service yes yeah we have a question from martin what what is the platform that support bbva's banking as a service uh, offer is it homegrown third party combination uh, cloud agnostic modern technology <laughs> so it's a it's a third party combination, and but essentially what we have is a in in the bank is a is an an own platform. The name is the name we have internally is Ether, that we have this and we have the same platform uh, in different countries, 
different versions, different releases, but the same platform. And this Ether platform is built uh, with different pieces. Some of them are uh, made uh, by BBA, and some others are using um, third party uh, third party elements, uh, third party pieces. And uh, most of it, or a big part of it, is in the cloud uh, ready. And, and and this is obviously the the trend, and especially in open banking, because uh, it so it gives us a. Uh, the chance to scale fast and 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 as as our partners require us to to do it yep yeah we have a question from dan uh how does bbva select the data aggregators offering access to other banks and non-banks by api for example ting pled true layer salt edge so the question is how uh, how how do you select the aggregators offering data access to other banks and non-banks Okay, so I, I would say that, that our approach is similar that with, you know, any other vendors, of course, based on the quality of services and essentially and the, the, the trust and security and the safety we feel with you know, partnering with uh, those, those uh, companies. And yes, so we are, uh, of course, using some of these aggregators and different aggregators depending on the country. We have, you know, in the U.S. we have, we have some and here we have. We have others and and in Mexico. Yep. So the how is a uh, open question, uh, but but I would say that not probably the the best answer I can give is is you know based on and you know uh, to understand the product and, and the safe we feel because we are is an is an important uh, is an important vendor partner because uh, handling a confidential private data and this is important. So it's like discussion and negotiate to understanding and, and and building trust yeah thank you uh, a question for uh, from nick how many people works on your api ecosystems versus your mobile banking ecosystem like is the api people more uh, uh, more inside bbva than the mobile people or not yet <laughs> so we have I, I don't know the number but i don't but, but we have a lot of people working in apis a lot of people. So, uh, from the tech, from the technical perspective, I say that we have a lot of uh, what we call internal APIs. That is the previous stage to to external APIs. But I wouldn't say I, I wouldn't I, I I don't feel safe to say a number. But this is big. Is is I don't know maybe it's hundreds, you know something like that, and. This is in terms of development. In terms of the <clears throat> control, that is again is I remember I mentioned the three waves of challenges in in open banking. This is the technology, the control, yeah, and it's we have a lot of people that uh, are compliance experts in in APIs and partnership, in legal aspects too, and in non-financial risk um, uh, aspects. So these three elements are so important. When you partner with a third party, and you need to, so you need to understand and to, and to approve this relationship from the control point, of, from the control spine. So we have, I wouldn't say a number, but probably, I, I so, you know, a lot of, I, I'm going to say a number, maybe 30, 40 experts that uh, we have, and operational people, we have a, we have a lot, but they are shared with other channels, not just APIs. So. This is the scale, the range of the, the the volume of people. In mobile banking, we also have a lot of people, but I think we have more people in, in API, I think. Yep. Uh, 